now that I've become a no cam streamer, ooh, mm. um, uh, I've I've kind of tried to been looking for some other channels. Um, one of my favorites uh, I was introduced to by I'm Space Shark, who I know a lot of you guys know in the Twitch community. Great yeah, streamer awesome. and, a, and a friend of mine. Um, I found uh, a streamer named Avenus, who is in Europe, and she's basically like some retro stuff, some new stuff, but a lot of platformers. And uh, she's an, a no cam streamer also. And she okay. is just voice. She doesn't even have an avatar or anything. Um, and so I've been watching a lot of her, and, and um, it's been kind of inspiring to me because I think here's the reality of not streaming with a cam. I think so many people stream with a cam, the ones that don't, and this isn't the majority, I'm just uh, of those. There's a lot of great no cam streamers out there. But I think the majority of people who don't stream with a cam probably don't take it that seriously because a lot of times they're just playing games and you know, I mean, the, the right. majority, I'm not saying all. Um, and so it's kind of cool to see a very well put together stream with great audio, great conversation. Um, yeah, that's cool. And, and and all the other usual ones I watch, like Late Night Retro, he's a no-cam streamer. Right, right. Um, I'm not trying to be on like, no streams need a cam. I mean, uh, yeah, no. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I made the switch a few months back um, because for my own mental health reasons. And, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been great, man. Like, I haven't... Yeah. I thought there was, I don't know why it took me so long to, to do this, because I think in the back of my mind, maybe I think there was going to be a lot of pushback against it, but it, it's really been the opposite. So right. um, it's been good, man. It's been uh, it's been really good. So I found a lot of cool streamers to watch. I've been watching a lot of She Snaps. I was introduced to that by Knackers, and I've, I've had a lot of great stuff from her stream lately. A lot of great, she's a fantastic when it comes to mental health stuff. I'm not saying she's a substitute for a psychiatrist. Not what right. I'm saying. But she's certainly, um, I've been in a lot of her streams. A lot of times I lurk, but um, a lot of times I, I'll go watch her streams. Um, Casey's been streaming a lot. I've been able to hang out yep. with Casey a lot. Um, Conbot, uh, Sandman, yeah. who I actually DM'd him a couple, like maybe a month ago. Uh, I had to DM him because he was doing some cool stuff. He does some cool stuff on his, uh, on his stream. And so yeah. I had to ask him how he was doing some stuff because... I wanted to steal it, of course. That's what streamers yeah, yeah. do, right? They steal from yeah. each other. And uh, and he hooked me up with some information and, and helped me out. So, um, yeah, man. I mean, I've had a lot of cool new streamers, some new streamers or streamers I hadn't watched a lot of content till relatively recently, and then and then my usual. So I've been watching a lot of Twitch. It's been inspiring to me to have more time to watch Twitch because then it makes me want to improve my own content. Yes. Twitch. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's uh to go to your point with like no cam streaming, right? Um, if you want to find or one really good guy that I I watch quite a bit is uh Robaz R O B B A Z, and every game that he plays, like they're all simulation type games, he just makes them so funny. It's and I've talked about him on uh, previous streams, but somehow he just takes games and he makes them hilarious, right? They're just always funny. Um, the uh, the I'm thing so that I will say about that. like no cam streaming and just twitch in general is that twitch the discoverability on twitch is so bad so like finding streams is super super complicated and when people that aren't you know uh natural to your stream like people that don't watch your stream every day or haven't found you through hosts or whatever if they're looking for a new stream to watch just through the Disco the discover tab it's very unlikely that they click on your stream if you don't have a cam unless you're playing something that doesn't have a lot of other streamers right that's just the reality behind it mm -hmm. so if you if you have a community and you're able to source a community from like twitter or instagram it really it does work but i think for a lot of streamers like a lot of uh, like there's a lot of streamers that are starting out that they you know they're setting out their their different things that they need to buy um having a cam is is important right like have a camera you can do streams like once a week with the camera even that is like great, right? You can turn on, like I know you, Jimmy, you turn on your camera every now and then just to have that personal element. Um, but you don't have to stream all the time, like uh, with, with a cam, right? Like you don't always have to have your camera on. And I've even had it just like, and you're talking about your mental health, like sitting and having people watch you constantly is dreadful, right? Like it sucks. Like it's, it's not great. Or if you like fail or you make a mistake, you're just sitting there embarrassed. So I, I totally understand that. Something like I don't like eating on stream. There's a lot of stuff that I try to avoid, but in most cases, like having a camera isn't necessarily a bad thing, but don't lay, like lean on it, right? Like you don't need to have it on constantly. 
uh, you can turn it off and people aren't going to take off, right? Like people aren't just there to stare at your face. Like sometimes they're interested in watching the gameplay every now and yeah. then. Um, so once you establish yourself, um, people, you know, especially with your community, once you establish yourself with your community, people come back even if you have your cam off, right? Yeah, well, and for me, it really just kind of came down to when I started streaming, the first streams that I ever watched on Twitch were people that had webcams. Like that mm -hmm. was the norm. You know, like people that had a had a camera, you know, and then so I started streaming with a cam. I never didn't use a cam really. And then I started uh, months back. I just started having these feelings and I had these feelings in the past. It was like this uncomfortable mm -hmm. feeling of being in a camera all the time while I was focused on a game. And yeah, I just figured it was a feeling that would just kind of fade away over time. And it didn't. Right. <laughs> it really didn't. And. Then I just thought, you know what? Maybe I should just try without a cam and see how that feels. Right. And I did, and uh, it was it was good. And uh, then now with the use of uh, technology and uh, an avatar, I can do some fun things that I I couldn't do before. Right. And so it introduces new elements of things that I couldn't because it's basically like using a green screen again. You know what I mean? So with this with this character avatar on on face rig, so. I've created all kinds of different scenes and just, you know, stuff to kind of experiment with the things that you can do yeah. uh, that are fun um, with uh, with not having a face cam. So I'm trying to I'm trying to balance it out. Yeah. Um, but uh, but that's been I, that's something that I put in this for myself that I haven't had a chance to really talk to you guys about yet because. We haven't podcasted since I yeah, made all these changes. Yeah, Knacker screwed you know? us all over. Yeah, by dude, by disappearing. He, dude, yeah, I mean, I hadn't had a chance to tell any <laughs> you guys, dude, about why I'd uh, why I'd done that. Not podcasting has been so fucking difficult. Like the last yeah. time that I took a break from streaming, when I did my five week break last year in January, I still podcasted every single week. Right. Not podcasting. That was a really difficult decision to make. But I, I knew that it had to be done if I wanted to to set new routines for myself. Um, yeah. How do you feel being on camera for the podcast, Jimmy? I, I should have asked you this before we were live. If I had a problem with it, I would have said something. Okay. Like, it's not, I knew I'm that not much. streaming. I'm podcasting. It's right. totally yeah. different. It's, it's different because you're looking directly at someone. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm not even is... paying that much attention to yeah. chat. I'm really just paying attention yeah. to you guys. So it's not the same. Everybody look at the camera lens for five seconds. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I two Jimmy and I were doing the exact same face. <laughs> <laughs> two things that I wanted to touch on regarding that. Um, do either of you follow Alpha Gaming on YouTube or Harris Heller on Twitch or Twitter? I've seen uh, I've seen uh, both of them on uh, on YouTube. So like both of their YouTube channels directed me back to their streams. But m in most cases, they I know that they both do um, like tutorial videos for yep. streamers. Yeah, tutorial, tech, uh, stream education, that kind of thing. Um, he he put out a clip on Twitter a couple of weeks back that just kind of outlined webcam streamers, right? And he said, mm -hmm. there's absolutely no reason why you can't have a webcam when you are streaming. But the chances of you finding success if you're brand new, if you are a brand new streamer, mm -hmm. the chances of yeah. you finding a success in viewers are so... They're, they're so much smaller than they were mm -hmm. if you did because there's just certain physiological elements of seeing a person, of making eye contact, of expression, of emotion. There's just things that you cannot get when you do not have a webcam. People are logging on to Twitch, a lot of them because they are looking for some sort of friendship or some sort of right, relationship. They are looking yeah. to make a connection with somebody, and it's a lot harder if you don't have a webcam, that's not mm -hmm. to say that you have to have a webcam, but as a brand new person who is coming to Twitch and you're, you're trying to get your, your, your shit going and streaming it, it you're going to hurt your chances. And that's why right. Jimmy, like you said, when you got started, everybody had a webcam. So I thought, well, if I want to have the best chances possible, I also would like to have a webcam. Um, so it's all of those things that you just kind of have to, um, take into consideration when when you're making right. a decision like that yeah well, I, I think that there's uh there's also the piece that I, I was mentioning earlier you twitch isn't a place like that that is the that's the interpretation right like you're going to come to twitch and you're going to try to build your channel 
Um, so not having a webcam is going to hurt you, right? That is that is true. But you also shouldn't be basing your growth off of your off of Twitch alone, right? Correct. Like you you should be leveraging other platforms just in general. Um, be, because I've seen a lot of successful uh, people like build channels recently that have literally just used Twitter, right? And they post pictures of themselves on Twitter, and then you go to their channel on on Twitch, and they don't have any webcam. It's just gameplay, um, and yeah. they're extremely successful, right? So it, it's just dependent on um, how you're leveraging, like what other sorts of content you're putting out in the, in the, on these other platforms that will drive people back to your channel. That's the, that's the fastest and easiest way to grow. Right. Um, so if you're basing it off of having a webcam or not, like there's a lot of people that have webcams that also are, have been sitting at one viewer for the past, uh, you know, the past two years, like webcams don't give you that. But when you eventually get to the level where you have five, 10 viewers and you're finally showing up higher and higher on the hierarchy on Twitch's side, um, that might be when someone clicks on you, right? Yep. And like, well, and like you did, Jimmy. You didn't just remove the webcam. You fucking Indiana Jones did it with something supplementary. Which, if you're not going to have a webcam, you don't have to have one. But if you have a a, a show where instead of having a webcam, you have like this infinite number of original artwork of scenes and audio and video and you make a production out of your channel it's gonna be a lot more easier for people to you know like maybe when your thumbnail gets captured by the twitch following page it captures something that isn't gameplay and isn't a webcam and when people see something different they're like oh like what the fuck is going on here and they're more inclined yeah. to jump in why is there a fucking beer with a wig on exactly with a in a courtroom right now exactly that doesn't make any sense <laughs> and the problem comes in where, and, and we've talked about this so much, the yeah. chances of you starting streaming now and all you're doing is just streaming video games and you don't have a webcam, 0. Oh, yeah. 0.0001% chance. If, if I was starting out again, like I, I, it wouldn't even be a question in my mind, but after years of being on Twitch and after years of watching other Twitch streams and realizing some of my favorite streams on the platform have no webcams. Right. And so I've really tried to figure out why is it that I like those types of streams and how can I make my stream like that? Because I'm, I'm just not a webcam streamer anymore, man. I'm just, I just yeah. don't think I am. So yeah, and I, I like what you're doing where you swap back to like show yourself every now and then like, the, and this is when, I don't know if you still do this, but you, when you were first starting to transition to not using your camera as often, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you would swap to a scene just to say like cheers or whatever, just to, you know, have like some sort of personal element. I still think that that's the way to go, right? Yes. Like I still think yeah. that having some sort of interaction that people can see you, uh, you know, that's, that's the way to go to some, to some certain extent. But I, I, I think that a lot of people, um, tr believe that having like a great webcam and I, I'm speaking from experience, having a great webcam is the only way to grow on Twitter, like not the only way, but it's a way to grow on Twitch and people will click on your channel because you have a great webcam. This right. is sort of true, but it's not when people come into your channel, like Casey was talking about this yesterday. I overheard her talking uh, to Conbot about this, but they, it's like people come in and they're like, wow, your production quality is insane. This is amazing. Right. That they're like, you should be a partner. How do you not have more viewers? And then that person leaves your stream and you don't see him ever. Ever. Again. Yeah. yeah. All the time. Happens to me hundreds of times. It's happened to Casey. You always get these people hosting. Wow, look at your quality. Wow, this is amazing. And then you never see them ever again. And it's because like they're super interested in the camera quality. But, you know, and I'm not saying that I don't do this or anyone else doesn't do this. But if your content isn't super interesting, um, then they might not hang out. So like that hook you know when you're not a webcam streamer is your personality right like yes, that's what's interesting for sure. your gameplay um yeah because i think that yeah go ahead sorry you did good oh, i was just gonna say i think that can having, i get like, can i just <laughs> sorry. yeah if you can just <laughs> anyway, i think just having like one uh like a few frames where you show your face yeah is, no. is all, all, like that's the ultimate way to do it because I, I get that same feeling of, of getting stressed out when people are looking at me constantly yeah. see i don't i don't have that at all which is i like because I like being different from you guys. I like having differing yeah. opinions and perspectives, but I feel I've well, never wrong. had a no cam stream in the seven years that I have streamed. I have never had a no cam stream. Um, there's been times where I've done less cam or like mm -hmm. a black and white cam or something. Um, okay. I take that back. VR streams. 
no yeah. webcam because well, that's a little different. Obviously. It is. Yeah. I yeah. I kn I don't understand why people have a webcam on themselves during VR streams, but that's just a personal preference. That's just me. It makes for a lot of funny moments, and when something funny happens in real life, the camera is there to capture it. But I, I feel like it totally takes away from the immersion of VR, and that's just my personal preference. No right or wrong. Um, but yeah, it's it's a super interesting point. I think that having a webcam on Twitch is the equivalent of thumbnails on YouTube and titles on YouTube. There are people who have the millions of subscribers already who get hundreds of thousands of views that can upload a video with a fucking black thumbnail with a gnome in the bottom left corner and an exclamation point for a title. And they will get millions of hits no matter what. But that's because they've already built up that reputation reputation in order to do that. Um, and they're, you know, having a webcam nowadays in 2020 is kind of just one of those things that you might have to do just to have a fighting chance in mm -hmm. all of this. But like Bishop was mentioning earlier, there are other ways that you can get eyes on your content too. And another big reason why I'm kind of shifting away from streaming 30, 20 to 30 hours a week. I'm going to maybe try and stream 15 hours a week. Put more time into offline content. Put some time into YouTube, into Instagram. Um, original content that isn't happening live just to kind of maybe get some more eyes on, on the live content. And that's, I mean, that's like a whole nother conversation. Um, but it, it's an important one. And it's something that every new streamer has to take into consideration when they're starting this path. Thank you very much for checking out this episode of the Crocs and Hot Pockets podcast. If you'd like to catch the show live, it airs on Twitch on my channel at twitch.tv slash knackers at 9 p.m. every single Sunday. If you would like to check out the most recent episode of the podcast, you can probably click this little box here. And if you feel like checking out some of our highlights, you can maybe click this little box down here. And maybe I'll even put a little thing for you to click right here. No? Bye.